Hey, you know here in the TV industry, hairspray is something most of us have at our desk. We use it every single day, but this is also something that we have in common with our first guests. They are some of the nicest kids in town and they're in town for the production of Hairspray. Please welcome <laughs> Christy and Josiah. Guys, so happy to have you guys today. This is awesome. We love Hairspray. We do too. Happy to be here. <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks for, for having, having us. Thank of you. course, of course. Oh my goodness. So this is really great too because we love you both, but Christy, we have to say a big shout out to you. Welcome <laughs> back home. You're a Colorado kid. Yeah, I, I sure am. Thank Thank you. Yes, yeah. Of course. Okay, so you went to Grandview High. Yeah. I won't hate you too much. I went to Cherry Creek. Oh, arrivals. Oh, no, I love Cherry Creek. I have lots of friends at Cherry <laughs> Creek. Yeah. We, we do too. Grandview and Cherry Creek, we're like, yes. hey, we're, we love each other. But you also went to UNC, University yeah. of Northern Colorado. Yeah. So awesome. So what's it like being back? It feels um, so f full circle and surreal. Um, I was telling them earlier, you know, I saw, um, I think Mama Mia, like way back in 2010. Yeah. I, I was really young and I was like, I want to be on that stage someday. Oh. And my parents are like, we think you can be up there. And so it's just crazy, like all these years later, coming back home and getting to do this for all my friends and family. And yeah. I'm like just absolutely ecstatic to oh, be here. Well, I bet. Yeah. How old were you when you first started performing then? I was uh, nine years old. I did uh, Tiny Thumbelina at the Crunchy Dinner Playhouse. Oh yeah, <laughs> back in the day. Yeah, it was way back in the day. Uh, <laughs> and then I just kind of never stopped. I've just been performing locally here ever since. Oh, that is so awesome. Well, yeah. welcome home. It's Thank so awesome you. to have you. Thank and you Josiah, so much. it's so great to have hey. you too. <laughs> Happy we to didn't be forget here. about you, I promise. Never. Oh, never, never. <laughs> yeah, no. but you play seaweed, which is yeah. of course one of our favorite characters mm -hmm. it's so fun to see the progression of his character throughout yes. the play which is so great um, how did you how do you get into character because I can imagine mm -hmm. that is like a big leap from our time to you know heading back to yeah. hairspray times um, well for me uh, it's for me, I like to put headphones in, listen to some good music. Yeah. Uh, warm up my body, do a lot of push-ups. No, really? just get my heart rate up. And uh, just uh, remember my why. And uh, Matt Lenz, our director, uh, he said something during the uh, rehearsal process that's so true. Uh, he said, as long as you go out there and tell your truth, oh, yeah. then the story will come across perfectly and the show is going to go great. So totally. we go out there every night and we kill it. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Well, we, of course, love the story of Hairspray. It's, you know, big a big favorite of us mm -hmm. of ours here in the office. Um, so, Josiah, the music in the show is yeah. so much fun. We were telling you uh -huh. before we started, it's been in our head all morning. We've been singing it. Um, <laughs> have you been drawn to performing the 60s style of songs? I mean, I can imagine that yes. it's kind of one of the more fun, upbeat things to do. 100%. Uh, so many artists um, that I love and I just draw, have drawn from. Uh, James Brown, yeah. um, Jimi Hendrix, uh, Ray Charles, Michael Jackson, Jackson 5. Yeah, of uh, course. Uh, Elvis Presley. The list keeps going. Yes. Uh, but uh, it's an honor to be in these shoes. And we're standing on the shoulders of some very talented performers mm -hmm. and artists in the industry. And uh, we are so humbled and thankful to be here and we're so excited for the Denver audience. Oh my gosh, yeah. yes. Well, we are so excited to see you guys. So we were talking earlier too about You Can't Stop the Beat. That's one of the, <laughs> yeah. like you said, it's a bop. It's yeah, definitely it's a, it's a great one. <laughs> <laughs> and it gets stuck in your head and goes over yeah. and over and over. But it sounds like you guys have kind of a common saying, instead of saying you can't stop the beat, you call it you can't stop to breathe, right? <laughs> <laughs> I have heard that. Oh have my heard gosh. That. Okay, yeah. so tell us how it's been like performing in the altitude because I can imagine it's mm. been a little different, right? Right? <laughs> it's yeah. just a little bit, yeah. yeah. A little bit, yeah. You can feel it. Like usually, like after that first number, you come off. You're like, okay, we good. But, but like here, it's like, oh. oh. <laughs> You gotta be more aware of your breath and just uh, just stay focused. That's all. We got it. Yeah. Though. When yeah. we were in Colorado Springs, I remember we did Good Morning Baltimore, yes. and everyone yeah. runs off stage, and we we're all like, <gasps> <laughs> you know what I mean? And everyone's looking at each other like, what is going on? You know, because we've been doing this for six months, right. so we're you know we're pretty used to it. Yeah. But yeah, but we're we're acclimating. Mm -hmm. We're ready yeah. to go. Yeah. Oh, Thank good. You. Well, yeah. You're like, good morning. I can. I'm I'm awake. We're yeah. we're up. Yes. <laughs> so good morning, Denver. Yeah. I love it. Okay. So yeah. do both of you have a favorite part of the production? What would you say is your favorite part? Um, I have a couple. You want to go first? Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, probably. Um, you can't. I mean, obviously, like you can't stop the beat. Um, it's the the show. The plot is a lot about um, like um, unfortunately, like segregation that was occurring in the '60s. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm um, at the very end. The show is integrated during yeah. "You Can't Stop the Beat," and it's this point in the show when the entire cast. Mm -hmm 
finally gets to dance together yeah. Yeah. and it's just like electric and it's this huge culmination and everyone's everyone wins you know what mm -hmm. I mean it's, and the audience every night is dancing with us singing with us there's like confetti flying around like, it <laughs> is just we've never had an audience like not stand up and dance with us at the Thanks. end it is just so fun so much fun so that's one of my favorites uh, one of mine uh I was gonna say you can't stop the beat too but oh, it's the dirty <laughs> boogie yeah. Oh, it's just yeah. a part of the show oh, where so I great. think it's so real and so true. It's uh, it's after Seaweed does Run and Tell That and he takes them to the uh, to the uh, to the motor mouth uh, the record shop. The record shop. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Tracy, Link, and Penny yes. are there. It's like this is like their first time. Imagine like they're interacting with uh, black with black kids. Right. And so they see us doing these dance moves <laughs> and they're like. It's just yeah. so funny to me. Yeah. So it just it's real. Yeah. Because I feel like I feel like that would have happened. They would have been like just such in shock and like really? and but they love it. And it's just yeah. we're so excited. I can't wait for you guys to see it. That's oh, one of my favorite parts. Well we can't wait to see it either. You guys, yeah. thank you both so much for joining us this morning. We are so excited to see y'all on stage. <laughs> I mean, if you guys are have the energy you are here yeah. on stage, it's gonna be a fun show. Oh, so we can't yeah, wait. Right. Let's go. And again, Christy, welcome home. Thank it's you so nice much. to have you back. Thanks for having of us. Course. Oh my gosh, well you guys, you have to check out Hairspray. It's playing at the Buell Theater now through March 10th. For tickets and more information, you can head to denvercenter.org. They sponsored today's segment.